Hello my magical creatures and welcome to my ASMR. Hey, how you doing? I hope you're well. Today I am revealing a secret to you. The secret of how I finally got my legs to cross doing axles. Because I have made my own rotation harness. If you've ever looked into buying a harness, they're like $2,000 and your rink probably has a harness, ours doesn't, but it's really cool to practice at home and it helps. It helped me a lot. It helped me so much. Literally, I did it for an hour and then after that, I landed an off-ice axle with my legs perfectly crossed. It was great. It was a great time. Very great time. So yeah, today I am showing you how I made it. Exciting, exciting, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. And today I have a fluffy microphone. This is usually above my camera, but today I'm filming on my phone. So I thought I'd just film this little video and talk you through it and then show all the stuff. If you want to learn how to make your own harness, keep watching. Also, keep watching if you want to see me get stuck on that harness. It's pretty hilarious. This specific harness, I actually made so it hangs. It's not one that you pull, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It means that you don't need a second person, but you do need a chair to like get up there and then hang, turn, and then get back on a chair. It works. It works. I did it. It works. But I did get stuck because my chair wasn't very stable. So yeah, I use a stable chair. And also, I didn't spend much money on this, so you're welcome. And then I made it in like a few hours. It's, it's pretty easy. It's really easy to assemble. You, you got this. You got this. I believe in you. You're going to need one carabiner, one mountaineering swivel that's one heck of a word <laughs> a rope one closet pole one h harness and a work belt i bought most of these things on amazon so i'll leave a link to all of them it was the cheapest things i found i actually had the closet pole and the rope i bought at home depot but I'll still link some in the description so you can just order everything on Amazon and have it. Let's start with the harness itself, the thing that goes around your body. I actually was struggling very much trying to find something that works. And so I asked another fellow YouTuber, Skate for Gold, because I was watching her skating cave video and she has a harness in there and I was like, you made one too. I want to make one. What did you use as a harness thing? Because I was looking for things and I couldn't find anything. So I DM'd her and she very nicely responded and told me what she used. So thanks, girl. So basically, you're going to put on the harness with the belt around your waist, not around your lungs like I am having it in this video. It should not be around your lungs because you won't be able to breathe. Pull, like literally make sure that it sits very very tightly because you're literally gonna hang from it so make it tight also make sure that the two little hooks are at your shoulders because that's where you're gonna hang from Woo! okay then let's get to the juicy stuff because we're done with the harness so we just have to hang it now you're going to cut the pole at the desired length I cut it this length as you can see right here. I had my dad cut it because he does everything way more precise and way better and faster than me. So I had my dad do it. It was really nice. Thanks, dad. Thank you. And then you're going to drill holes. Make sure that you drill them this way and not that way. Because if you drill them that way, you're going to have a broken pole. Then pull the rope through on one side. Leave enough slack of course and then make a knot this way make a knot which will be the top where it's gonna hang from and then pull the rope through the other side too so 
it's starting to look like a harness. Then tie a knot on the side where the end of the rope is. Tie it where you want the pole to be secured. Then leave some slack. The rope is gonna get longer if you hang in it. So if you put it like almost exactly above your head, maybe a little higher like this, and then make a climbing knot to the side and attach it to one side of the harness. If you don't know how to do a climbing knot, I'll show you right here. I've been showing you. <laughs> Then make sure you like the length, then cut the other side of the rope, so it's the same length the other one was, and measure the rope on the side already done, and then measure the other side, so it's the same length, and then make a knot underneath the pole. Then measure it again, and see if it's correct, and then put a little weight on it, like pull it a little, and then measure it again, see if it's the same length because it needs to be the same length otherwise you're not going to be able to center yourself which is really important <laughs> which is basically why we're doing all this then measure the inferior part of the rope on both sides again to make it the same length two and then you're going to make the climbing knot again who would have thought and attach it to the harness yes yes we're almost there guys, we're almost there, we almost did it, oh my gosh. And then hang it up and try it out. Make sure it's the same length again, and if it is, then yay! <laughs> you did it, you built your own harness. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. What? That's amazing. <laughs> then you're going to cut off the excess rope and seal the rope with a lighter. You did it! You have done it! You made your own harness. Now you can practice your rotations at home by yourself. And now if you want to see me get stuck, get ready. It's starting now. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll make your own harness. If you make your own harness, make sure to tag me or put hashtag Mina rotates <laughs> so I can see it and look at it and be fascinated by what you made. Do you like my shirt? It says the vintage club. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next week, same time same place love ya